So, it's your girl Tiffany and I'm back at it with another video for your TV screens, for your computer, your laptop, your desktop, your iPhone, your Android. I don't know how y'all watch YouTube videos, but I'm back on it. So, yay for me. If you haven't read by the title by now, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you guys. This is just seven things that I learned in 2021 that I'm no longer doing in 2022. Seven things that I really had to really just like, wait a minute, this is not how this goes. So if you know somebody or if you went through one of these seven things, it's 2022, it's time to let this stuff go. So stick to the video, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. And like I say on every video, you won't be disappointed. All right? All right, you guys. So the number one thing on my list of just seven things that I realized in 2021, seven things that kind of teed me off a little bit that I'm not going in 2022 with. So the first thing is I realized in 2021, some people, some people just do not want to be happy. Some people... No matter what you do, no matter what they do, they just do not want to be happy. I mean, I never knew out of 39 years of being on this earth that it was just people that just wake up and don't want to be happy. Me included. I have been through this, but I'm glad I realized what I was doing. And you know, if you knew better, you do better. All right, you guys. All right, y'all. All right, you guys. All right, gals. Whatever. So the number two thing on my list. Y'all, number two thing on my list is, like I said, the 21, I mean, the 29, I mean, the 39 years I've been on this earth, I just realized, me included, sometimes when I throw shade on my videos, it could be about me, some of these videos could be about me, if not half of them, most of them, it's things that I know went through, or it could be people in my immediate circle, it could be people I just met at the store, like I said in my previous video, if I see it, I don't like it, I'm coming home and I'm right, and I'm doing a video about it, that's it, that's all, but one thing that I have come to the realization of in 2021, people love to complain. You get what I'm saying? People love to complain. It could be 100 degrees outside and people want to complain about how hot it is. And then when it becomes 40 degrees, they want to complain about how cold it is. They don't know how to pick their battles. Some people, if not all, even me included back in the days, just wants to complain. They want to find something to complain about. Like, stop complaining about stuff that you're not trying to change. Stop complaining about stuff that is out of your control. If you're not willing to change what you're complaining about, excuse my French, what the fuck is you complaining about? All right, you guys, so we are on the number three thing. The third thing, oh no, we are on the third thing on my list. And this right here, this right here hits home. This is something that's really dedicated to me. And I know some people out there might be going through this same thing or something similar, or maybe you know somebody that's going through this. But me being on this earth, as long as I have, all these decades that I have been on this earth, I have been trying to be in control of my life. From where I stay, to what I eat, to what I wear, to what I say, to who I have my kids by, to who I am with now. Every little aspect of my life, I have had control over. October 31st changed my life forever. The day I realized that I know I have no control. I have no control of what's going to happen next. The only thing I have control over is me and what's going to happen today. All right, you guys. So, we are on the number four thing on my list of things that I realized in 2021 that I'm no longer doing in 2022. That I'm no longer no one that's in my circle to do. And this is something that you guys are probably going through. I gotta take a deep breath for this because this right here I'm gonna be serious with. I should put on my, my hater shades, but I'm not because it's helping my lace front not stick up. So we're gonna keep the glasses right there. We're just gonna go straight into it, okay? 
the fourth thing on this list today. If you're looking at this video and this had happened to you in 2021, or if you are the person, you might be that person. If you are this person or you know somebody that's this person, man, believe them. The first time somebody shows you who they are, believe them. I don't care if they're drunk. I don't care if they're high. I don't care if they just lost someone and now they're angry at the word, at the world, at the word, at the world, whatever. They just angry. Believe them. Stop giving people chances and chances and chances to either fuck up or fuck over you. The fifth thing that's on my list, y'all. Let me let me calm down. The fifth thing that's on my list is is no perfect time. If you have watched any of my previous videos I think I have said this more than once on a lot of my videos it's no perfect time the perfect time is right now today at 3 52 p.m. Pacific time so I don't know what time it is with y'all in New York Florida I am in Cali so we is kind of late on the time but today, right now, today's the perfect time. Tomorrow's not the perfect time. Next week's not the perfect time. Today. You have today. You don't even have tomorrow. That's not a promise to you. And the number 16, I have been knowing this all my life, basically. But me being a person that I am, I never realized that it can happen in your own family, in your own social network, on social media, in your own neighborhood, in your own backyard. So this number 16 right here, y'all, is something that I really had to realize. And this, this is this, this is this. People could be freaking jealous of you and you to have no idea. I know that could sound so cliche and sound so arrogant and whatever. But I have came to realize that people could really be jealous of you. They could really envy your life and you have no idea. You don't know why. You're a nobody. All you do is go to work, go to school, take care of your kids, or you don't have kids. You got a nice car, you got a job or whatever. And people will find a way to put that down. And then you'll think in your head like, damn, why they always joking? And then put the LOL behind it. My dude Trent Shelton said that. But yeah, they'll joke with you, right? And put that LOL behind it. They're jealous. It should never be, oh, I like your car, I like your shoes, but you're jealous. You're envy. I don't know what it is. Um, it could just be the blessing that you have on your life. And they're jealous. They see that. Instead of them running their own race, they so busy in your life. They so worried about what you're doing next. Come on, man. Move on with that. If you're doing this in 2021, if you're jealous of somebody, or if you have someone in your circle that you know might be just a little bit, I mean, like, every time you say something, every good news you bring up, they always want to just, I want you to say these two words to them. You jealous and you ugly. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> just you guys. So we are at the end of this video, and I'm going to end it with a good one. I'm gonna end it with a good one. So this seventh thing that's on this on this last list, man, I even had to throw on my head of my head of shades for y'all. Cause I'm I'm real serious about my art. You feel me? But the seventh thing on my list, and this is for anybody, this is especially got an empty ass air fresher. <laughs> but anyway, this is especially for me, this is especially for anybody out there that's going to 22 and don't know what to do next, this is for you. Start living in the moment. Start living in the moment. Start living in today. You never know when a moment becomes a memory. Don't let that go over your head, okay? Start living in the moment, y'all. Stop letting little things affect your move, your energy that is not serving you.